Greetings comrades, my name is Gigantles, and today we have achieved 200 subscribers. So yay for us. And I know that this isn't exactly 200, that would require 40 hands worth, but instead of trying to multiply my hands, which could be quite a difficult task, I'm instead going to do my traditional custom of celebrating the subscriber milestones by trying to say thank you as many times as I can. So to all 200 of my subscribers, thank you. And whilst, now it is nice indeed to pass milestones, whether it be views or subscribers, or anything like that but the primary role of my the primary goal for my channel is to try and reach people as many people as possible out there and teach those that do not really know about the faith if you mean if you give me to 2000 if you give me to 1000 subscribers i will tell you um about my journey towards the faith and and uh, why i'm so intent on trying to teach people about it and everything but again that'll be for 1000 subscribers so if you can get me there i mean the faster you get me there the sooner you hear about it. so please continue spreading what about this channel but to sum, sum it up, I want people out there who, like myself in the past, did not know enough about the faith to actually learn about it and able to defend it. And that seem, it seems to be working mostly on my channel. The, the, comments, the comments are very mixed. I've been getting some feedback from very critical uh, non-Catholics or non-Christians, uh, pagans, uh, atheists, uh, pantheists recently, which was very strange. Um, discussion with uh, other Christians, but... We, we, did, we agreed to disagree, uh, we were respectful about it, which I'm glad for, because even if, even if you're not Christian or Catholic watching this, if you want to have a discussion, I'm more than happy to have a discussion with you, and some are members of my community. But respect, respect is obviously something that needs to go around, because I have been, have, I've been having to uh, go around removing some comments because, they, you know, because of crude language or swearing or insulting. We need to be respectful, can we act like the people we're, we're meant to be preaching about? Okay, if we're meant to pre preach about Jesus, uh, then we need to actually act like him actually be an example to follow some of the other comments have been more constructive saying okay you forgot this you need to include this or get a better microphone fair enough i mean i'm currently using my phone to record it both the camera and audio so it's not always the best but i'm looking for i'm looking to get a microphone in the near future so hopefully my stuff will be better quality other comments have definitely been more striking to the heart and not in a bad way in a much more positive way if imagine imagine it's particularly when i was doing my examination period recently I mean, so that's over now fortunately but back in my examination period imagine imagine you've just finished a whole bunch of coursework and you're exhausted and you're tired and like oh man i've got to finish this thing the next three days okay and, and you're and you're, and, you're, and you're stressed out from all this stuff and you go into youtube and you so you go into emails and you see a notification apparently there's been a that someone's commented on one of your video on one of your videos and you read that and it's some guy saying keep you know, keep up the good work or you did a good job thank you or thank you for teaching me this it really warms your heart it does and it definitely makes it makes the stress a little bit more bearable of the exam saying okay well you know I'm, I'm helping people they're learning things it definitely makes it a lot easier to bear the burden of things such as examinations but that's mostly over and done with now fortunately so i can focus more on making content again i do have my dissertation to stop praying for in the future but i'm going to try and do a little bit every now and then a bit more i try and make schedules as best as i can so it doesn't become like too daunting at the end or anything okay if any of you out there have completed dissertations please let me know if you had a schedule or how you how you did yours and anything because that that'll really help i'd also like to thank all the people out there who are sharing my content on social media sites they're all over facebook apparently because thanks to the and if you guys do have youtube channels out there you may you may want to do this as well especially if you're trying to uh, advertise your content in other places the vidiq extension that i have on my account it also tells me not only does it tell me stuff like okay how many views you're getting uh, per day, uh, per hour for your content, uh, how, many, how many likes, your likes, you know, your likes to hate ratio, whatever, your likes to dislikes ratio, but it also tells you how, it, how your content is on social media. For instance, it'll give you, like, it'll tell you how many like, likes and stuff you got on YouTube, and then it'll also tell you how many, how many likes and reactions you get on Facebook and Reddit and stuff. Definitely, Facebook is possibly one of the biggest um, sources of my, one of the, one of the biggest sources of my content which i'm glad for because if my content is being shared if my content is being shared in catholic groups then it's definitely re then it's definitely reaching its per doing its purpose in teaching people about the faith in those groups so again i thank all of you out there who have been sharing my content on social media sites there will indeed be more con uh, content coming out in future i know i'll be promising a lot of series for a while but definitely with um it's a bit hard to keep a schedule when you release as in a sense as few videos as I do, because I release two videos a week. Okay, so I release some like life at university and some educational video. Now, something big comes up, for example, like exams or some other event that you're gonna make a video about. You sort of a 
or your schedule gets messed up and you push back videos and sometimes it can be easier to keep continue pushing that back until it gets too late which is one of the reasons why my geneva uh, boat trip uh, videos have been almost a year late which i apologize for i will get that sorted soon um i'll start releasing that i'd release really our content soon and get it out there and finish that series once and for all i will return back to my uh, in a nutshell series I do have the church councils in a nutshell. I need to get. I need to start getting out. I need to have the books, the the, the books, of the Bible getting out there. Also, the globe, uh, the finding the globe earth in the in the Bible. I've got that series to develop as well. I know some larger YouTubers do spend more time in their channels producing multiple videos a day, but I can't do that. I'm, I'm too small for that. I, I've got I've got life. I've got a life outside of YouTube. And I've got things to do. That mean I can't spend all my time on YouTube. But I will do what I can to try and regulate my content better. I will be doing more of my refuting uh, anti-biblical, anti-Christian, anti-Catholic memes videos because the feedback I have so there from them so far is definitely being positive, which I'm glad for. If I can, as I said then, memes are a way that you express ideologies and ideas across by using images. And if people, and if I can refute people's uh, negative atti uh, negative attitudes towards uh, to Christianity and the Bible and everything. Uh, by refuting those memes and actually explaining what the Bible means when it says this or that, or why I'd explain these events that happened. If I can clear that up for people who do want to convert and want to learn more about the faith, then it's, de then it's definitely worth spending time on that. I mean, I've also got, I've also got the Bible archaeology series I want to start doing as well, because again, I know that people usually, a lot of our critics usually say um, something along the lines of, well, we read more than one book, and they're saying, okay, well, we Bibles only read, can't read the Bible, we only, we, we Christians only read the Bible, but that's very much wrong. There is plenty of biblical evidence out there in stuff like archaeology, which I know about because I'm in several archeo biblical archaeology groups. A couple of my friends are biblical archaeologists and they keep putting forward things that they find. One of them, I'm not sure if I said before in another video, but one of my friends, in uh, one of my arche biblical archaeologist friends, is working at the, Tel at the Tel Haman site in just off the northeast coast of the Dead Sea, which is where they found the remains of Sodom. So Sodom did happen. Okay, destruction of Sodom and destruction of it did happen. And I want to have videos out there to try and provide uh, extra biblical evidence for the events in the Bible. Because there is a lot of evidence through archaeology. And if I can start breaking the the idea that we only read the Bible and that everything we have is just in the Bible, we, you know, we don't pay attention to any other books, we don't look at all this evidence that apparently contradicts our faith. If I can start breaking that down, it will definitely stop it. It will definitely help people overcome that barrier in towards getting towards the faith. Because when you realize that, yes, there is indeed evidence for the Bible, there is indeed evidence for our beliefs throughout history, this makes sense, that makes sense, then they're going to convert. Then they're going to convert, which is ultimately what you want to do. Because it's one thing to simply say that you're a Christian or Catholic or whatever, and it's another thing entirely to understand it. If a person truly understands the faith, they're going to make a very good Christian. If they don't, then we get lukewarm Christians. If I can help people grow not only come to come towards the faith but also develop and grow their faith then that'll be another goal achieved by this channel so do prepare for more content coming out because of the summer holidays i should be out of university for a little bit of time but i think heading back towards september i should be moving back it's the same accommodation as a uh, as last year but i don't think my flatmates will be there hopefully not hopefully they'll i'll have cleaner flatmates next year but there's definitely more to come from future for this channel more theology especially more things I want to do, more things I want to talk about and explain and overcome more boundaries and barriers and destroy misconceptions and stereotypes of the faith. And so the next milestone I'll make a video about for my channel in terms of subscribers will be 500 subscribers. Because I feel if I make too many uh, milestone videos concerning subscribers, they may sort of dilute the whole well, special videos, especially if my channel starts growing very quickly and then I start passing these milestones uh, more, than month, more than months apart. So if I get to and I, and I, here's hoping to, if I start getting to like the thousands, then I might slow down a little bit. But thank you again, all of you, my 200 subscribers out there. Hopefully we can continue to help this channel grow and reach more people and grow into 500 subscribers. And then after that, a thousand and then beyond. I look forward to explaining more about the faith and the evidence for it and why our faith isn't irrational and why loving God is ultimately the best thing you can do. And how to, I guess, express that love for God. Hopefully, we'll reach 500 subscribers in the near future. I mean, I'll continue to, I'll continue to pray for the channel's growth. Not so I can bo not so I can boast or brag about my channel's growth, but just that I'm reaching more people. Because ultimately, that's what we want. If I can reach more people, uh, then the bigger chance I'm going to reach those who are weak in the faith, don't have much of an understanding of it, or people who are just in the in the band saying, should I have faith or should I not? If we can convert those souls to having a deeper faith of the understanding, then that'll be the, the cha this channel's job done. 
And then after I can help, after I can help one soul, I can move on to another soul, and then another soul after that, and so on. Until hopefully, well, I may I may be a bit far from uh, hoping to be as influential or as have the biggest following as a uh, venerable Archbishop Fulton J. Sheen. But it would definitely be nice to help people out there reach the faith. I mean, hey, for all you know, if, if, I, if, I, if I ever do get to heaven, other than obviously praying every second I have for you, all of you on earth to help join to join us, maybe I can be like twin saints on the internet with uh, with the currently blessed Carlo Cultus. I do pray for his canonization. Hopefully we all to continue to do so and pray for uh, also Venerable Archbishop Fulton J. Sheen out there. He was a brilliant speaker and a brilliant man. And thanks, I think he's... A couple more obstacles to overcome for before he's a saint, but hopefully he'll be a saint soon. And hopefully this coronavirus pandemic will be over so we, so we can have pilgrimages to Rome for the declaration. And hopefully this channel will continue to grow into the future, reach more people, reach more hearts, convert them, make them grow deep in the faith. And hopefully we can all one day laugh in heaven about how cringy some of my videos were. But ultimately, even despite that, there were grains of truth that helped us understand God better. Because ultimately... There is nothing out there worth knowing more than God, okay? There is nothing great out there. If you could truly understand, understanding God, being in the presence of God, that is what heaven is. And to achieve that will definitely be, well, the achievement of a lifetime, rewarded with a crown that is a halo. Well, for the last time, before I continue repeating myself, thank you all of you again, my 200 subscribers. Here's to continuing to grow towards future milestones, the next being 500 that I make a video about. Hopefully we'll continue to reach more souls whose faith hangs in the balance or is weak and needs to grow we can help them grow in the faith grow close grow close towards god grow a deep understanding about theology and we can counter the misconceptions and misunderstandings about the faith look forward to celebrating 500 subscribers with you soon god bless you all see you next video comrades until then